Welcome to Smart Optometry. Today we'll explore six congenital anomalies of the eyelids. These conditions are 1. Congenital ptosis. 2. Congenital coloboma. 3. Epicanthus. 4. Dystichiasis. 5. Cryptophthalmos. 6. Microblepharon. These conditions affect the normal development of the eyelids and can impact vision, comfort, and appearance. Let's dive into each of these unique conditions. Now congenital ptosis. Normally, upper lid covers about upper one-sixth of the cornea that is about 2 millimeters. Therefore, ptosis is abnormal drooping of the upper eyelid that covers more than 2 millimeters of superior cornea. And congenital ptosis is a condition where the upper eyelid droops due to maldevelopment of the levator palpebri superioris muscle or LPS muscle. It may occur in different forms like 8. Simple congenital ptosis Other than weakness of LPS muscles, no anomalies are present. B. Congenital ptosis with superior rectus muscle weakness It leads to both drooping upper eyelid and limited upward eye movement. C. Ptosis as part of blepharophimosis syndrome Where patients also show signs of telecanthus and epicanthus inversus. D. Marcus Gunn jaw winking ptosis. Where the eyelid retracts when the jaw moves. Now congenital coloboma. Congenital coloboma is a rare condition that creates a full thickness triangular gap in the tissues of the eyelid, often near the nasal side and affecting the upper eyelid more frequently. The primary treatment for this condition is plastic surgery to repair the defect and restore the eyelid's function and appearance. Now epicanthus. Epicanthus is a common congenital anomaly, particularly among the Mongolian races. It's characterized by a semicircular fold of skin that covers the inner corner of the eye, or the medial can thus. This fold may disappear as the nose develops, but in more severe cases, plastic surgery can be performed to correct the condition. Now dystichiasis. Dystichiasis is a rare condition where an extra row of eyelashes grows where the meibomian glands should be. These extra lashes often point inward, rubbing against the cornea and causing irritation. Treatment involves epilation, electroepilation or cryoepilation to remove these lashes and prevent further discomfort. Now cryptophthalmos. Cryptophthalmos is an extremely rare anomaly where the eyelids fail to develop and the skin extends seamlessly from the eyebrow to the cheek, hiding the eyeball beneath. In these cases, surgery may be considered to expose the eyeball, but treatment is complex and depends on the severity of the condition. 6. Microblepharon Microblepharon is a condition where the eyelids are abnormally small. It's usually associated with smaller-than-normal eyes, known as microphthalmos, or even absent eyes, called anophthalmus. In some cases, the eyelids are so small or underdeveloped that the condition is called a blepharon. Thank you for watching. If you found this information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe Smart Optometry for more educational videos on eye. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Stay tuned for more.